My name is Elizabeth Cole, and these are my team members, Nan Tingen and Ben Yang. We are all from CHIJ's Nicholas Law School. Today, we will be presenting to you our project of bio detergents made from citrus fruit peels. Now, before I share with you the, on the product itself, let me first tell you about how we came across this idea in the first place. There is a quote by Paul Ben that says that an idea may also come out from a problem, which in turn becomes part of the solution. And the problem that we discovered here was the detergents that we use in our everyday lives are actually highly, and highly dangerous to the environment and to us due to the high amount of petroleum and bleach within them. To solve this problem, itself, we brainstormed some possible solutions, which is using acidities in, in food like lemon, vinegar, etc. Our brilliant idea was the fermenting of citrus fruit peels, as these peels are actually thrown away as waste products, and citrus fruit has high enzyme levels, which can cut through things. Now, who are you chosen? Firstly, this minimizes the damage to the environment as citrus fruit peels can be reused, recycled, and utilized. Secondly, this product is inexpensive and last but not least, it is safe for usage, proving it suitable for all ages. Our ultimate aim is to create our ultimate aim is to create an efficient, eco-friendly, safe, and cheap detergent. And this all can be found from daily household and waste products, which are both biodegradable and natural. Thank you. Our hypothesis is, if the type of citrus fruit peels used in detergent is related to the efficiency of the citrus fruit peel detergent in removing stains, then the orange citrus fruit peel is the most efficient in removing stains. Here are some before and after pictures of our experiment. On week 1, we have encountered, we have observed that there are small, constant small air bubbles appearing from the solution. And the problem that we encountered is that even though we open up the parafilm after every few days, it will still break open occasionally. Parafilms are used to aid prevention of moisture, air contamination in the container for long-term usage. What we did to solve this problem is to add delivery tube and a cork, one end into the cylinder sealed with parafilm and tape, and the other end into a beaker of water. So through our research, we found that stain removers work by our four methods. Firstly, dissolving the stain, emulsifying the stain, digesting the stain, and lastly, hiding the stain. So firstly, on dissolving the stain. Dissolving the stain is basically when a solvent that has similar, uh, that has similar chemical properties is used to remove the stain. Secondly, is emulsifying the stain, where the emulsifiers and surfactants are used to coat the stain and lift it off the surface. Surfactants actually increase the weatherability of the material in order to make it easier to contact and remove the stain. Lastly, is the um, is no thirdly is digesting the stain. So digesting the stain is usually when enzymes are used to break down the stain molecules, as well as the fat and protein within the stains. Oxidizers such as borax, um, chloride bleach, and um, peroxide are actually used to break down long color molecules. Lastly, hiding the stain is when whiteners are used to render the stain invisible. It is basically when bleach actually oxidizes the actually oxidizes the stain, and dabbing diluted chloride bleach actually manages to remove the color of the stain as well as break down the stain molecules. In week two, we experienced a lack of understanding of specific concepts and reasonings behind stain removal. Example: What kind of stains in the detergent use are effective in removing white stains? making it hard for us to apply these concepts to our own citrus fruit peel. So what we did was that we sought advice from our biology teacher, Ms. Zongin, on how, how enzymes influence the effect our detergent would have on the stains and the kinds of enzymes in the different fruits and its effects on the respective stains. Three. On week 3, we have expanded our research to not only cleaning stains from fabric but also cleaning stains on sink surfaces and we have encountered problems like we focus too much on cleaning stains on material like cloth. What we did to solve the problem is to research on stains ranging from rough to smooth surfaces. Three. So in week 4, what we did was that we soaked eggshells in the coffee such that the eggshells absorb the coffee and thus creating a stain. And we continued encountering problems previously so we just continued researching on all these problems to try and solve them. So we asked around for people's daily house daily household stains which were difficult to clean off and 
the results we got were that people found that the kitchen stains and the toilet stains were the most difficult to clean up. So what we did was that we tested our citrus fruit peel cleaner on kitchen surfaces to test its effectiveness on the cleaning and delicate things. Okay. As seen from our results, our predictions were wrong, and the most efficient detergent was actually the lemon, as compared to the grapefruit and the orange detergent. And we and we deduced that the reason was due to the high acidity within the lemon. The lemon, as a bonus, also had a natural fragrance that not only strengthened but improved our detergent. So nonetheless, despite all the, despite having been wrong in our hypothesis, we still succeeded in making our own organic detergent. So this concludes our presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Presenting to you our lemon citrus detergent. Thank you.